We've taken apart a lot of Microsoft Surface devices, and historically, they haven't done very well in our repairability meter. The highest score we've seen is the Surface Studio's 5 out of 10. But today, we have the new addition to the Surface line, the Surface Laptop. With its super slim form factor, 13.5 inch touchscreen, and fancy Alcantara line keyboard, the Surface Laptop has truly piqued our interest. But where will it find itself on our repairability meter? I'll give you a hint. Getting into this new Surface Laptop was a total nightmare. After finding no visible screws or obvious point of entry, we decided to dive in through the keyboard lining. After trying our eye opener and picks and then every other opening and prying tool we have, we settled on the ultra dangerous heat gun and Jimmy. This Alcantara stuff is really, really tough to remove and really, really prone to cutting and tearing. Oh, and about heat guns. If you look away for a second, bad things might happen. But it's fine. You don't need a delete or backspace key anyway, right? After much more cutting, tearing, prying, heating, and melting than we'd like in an opening procedure, we finally get the fabric cover off and are met with yet another glued-in piece of gear. The trackpad and keyboard plate lifts up to reveal its connection to the motherboard, which like everything else on the motherboard, is securely hidden behind a clip-on shield. We've seen this on other Surface devices in the past, but it doesn't make the arduous process of removing all the shields any less annoying. Another point of concern is that we can't see where the battery is connected to the motherboard, so we'll have to continue our disassembly with the battery still connected. The only way in is through the fan and heatsink combo, and with it removed, we can ditch the speakers, Surface Connect charging port, and the display. This is a 13.5 IPS pixel dense display with a resolution of 2256 by 1504 and a pixel density of 201 pixels per inch. The motherboard is finally free and on the board we spot the Intel Core i5 processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM and the Toshiba made 128 gigabyte SSD. We took a look at the i7 version of the Surface laptop and identified a ton of other chips over on our site. So if you're curious, check out the full teardown over at iFixit. The only thing left is the battery. This 45.2 watt hour battery has roughly the same capacity as the one in the latest Surface Pro and is completely and thoroughly glued to the case. With the Surface laptop fully disassembled, it was time to evaluate its repairability. The Surface laptop scored a whopping zero out of 10, and here's why. This laptop is not meant to be opened or repaired. You can't get inside without inflicting a ton of damage. The CPU, RAM, and onboard storage are soldered to the motherboard, so upgrades are a no-go. And while the headphone jack is modular, it can only be accessed by removing the heatsink, fan, display, and the motherboard. And lastly, the battery is difficult and dangerous to replace, giving the device a limited lifespan. And that's all for this teardown. Don't forget to check out the full teardown over at ifixit.com, which includes some sweet x-ray images, and stay tuned for more teardowns coming next week. I'll see you next time.